What's up with this guy? Hey, what's up with this guy? Find out. Welcome back, I'm Mark Summers. We all know spuds are good to eat, but how about good for art? Well, it's time to meet the potato's number one fan. He's part artist, part performer, part collector, but he's all about spuds. And now, check out how he uses the precious potato as an inspiration for all of his creations. Jeffrey Allen Price enjoys taking walks and gardening. It's a wildflower, but it's still very beautiful. And he too has a wild side. Here's taters hot, my chaps. Jeffrey is the Spud's number one fan. He was a figurative oil painter until he discovered the power of the potato. After some research, he realized their beauty is more than skin deep. And then I started finding all sorts of connections, anthropological connections, all around the world, folklore dealing with the potato. The global significance of the potato became something for me that I could attach to. This attachment became a love affair. It all began in 1996 with the first annual potato festival. The event was meant to bring the community together to celebrate the potato and bring out the artist in everyone. And it was important that everybody bring a potato dish and make something out of the potato. After the festivities, leftover potatoes became Jeffrey's art. I was trying to draw with the charcoal of the potatoes, but it didn't work very well. So I decided to smash them up and just adhere them to the surface of these paintings. Jeffrey dubs his work process art. So the process of creating is more important than the final creation. And his work is always changing. That's why I'm interested in the potato, because if you let a potato sit long enough, it starts growing eyes, it starts drying out, it starts changing its sculptural form, and it also is becoming uh, fertile. It's wanting to reproduce itself. And Jeffrey's work spawns more than just paintings. This is a piece that I did five years ago, and now it's still in process. I carved out of them with, with knives or exacto blades, and uh, I've become skillful in drying out the potato. I can sort of see a face in this one. For Jeffrey, potatoes evoke all the senses, the inspiring performance the art. So that performance art to me is about using my body as a vehicle to convey a message. We need potato jugglers! And the potato seems to be this unifying symbol of egalitarianism. Blue potato chip time! Or I don't know anyone who doesn't eat potatoes. Good potatoes. Some people probably think I'm a little bit obsessive about the potato, and I would definitely have to agree that I am obsessive about the potato. In addition to being a potato artist and potato performer, he is also, of course, an avid collector of all things potato. He lives and breathes this humble brown vegetable, even eating up to 10 pounds per week. The potato has taught me about history. The potato has taught me about gardening. The potato has taught me about cooking. The potato has taught me about art. So it, it continues to teach me. I'm amazed daily about the potato. Here's one of Jeffrey's works of art. Looks pretty cool. 